I've been asked many times on whether AutoCAD LT 2020, 2019 and 2018, or actually most of the new interfaces with AutoCAD, are you able to go and change to the old classic um, version where you've got your, your drop down menus, as well as your toolbars, the left, the right, and above the drawing screen. So it can be done, uh, just FYI, it was taken away by Autodesk, I think from AutoCAD 2018. So today what we're gonna take a look at is customizing the user interface to look like the old version. So when I open up AutoCAD LT, you'll see that I've only got one workspace, which is my drafting and annotation default. If I right click on that, I can either create a new workspace or create a duplicate. I'm gonna create a new workspace over here, and we're gonna go create, call it AutoCAD Classic. With this AutoCAD Classic, if I select it, you'll see that there's nothing in the customized workspace contents over here. So to customize that, there's a couple of different options we can take. So for instance, there's nothing in my menus bar. I'm gonna say in my menus bar, I'd like my file, I'd like my edit dropdown, and I'd like my view dropdown as well. Okay, so let's see how that works out when we apply it. Click on apply and okay. And you'll notice it still looks like the old version or the, the new version, if you'd say, because it's still sitting on drafting and annotation workspace. Click on AutoCAD Classic Workspace, and it will do this. Now, we still won't see anything over here because I need to activate that I see show menu bar. And then you see there's my file edit and view. You'll also notice over here that you got the ribbon does not have tabs or panels currently loaded. Right click, click on undock, undock, and then just close that. Okay, so I've got this over here. Now, I'd like to save what I've done over here. So I'm just gonna go save current as. So just please remember to just save, save as you go along. It's like any normal drawing. Select my AutoCAD Classic, click on Save, and it says, would I like to overwrite, and yes, I did. Replace it. Okay, let's go back to the CUI, and let's go put in some toolbars. So I click back on the AutoCAD Classic, and let's go put some toolbars in here. So under my toolbars, um, what we normally have is Draw and Modify. So let's go put those two in. So Draw and Modify. Click on OK. And you'll see there now I've got my toolbar on the left and my toolbar on the right. Now, what I can do is, is just right click. And if you see there, I can actually go and add the rest of my, my toolbars that I want. So maybe I want dimension toolbar. Uh, let's do our standard annotation toolbar. And let's do workspaces. Okay, so now that all these toolbars are sitting on my screen, I need to go and position it in the appropriate place. So let's go put our standard annotation, let's go put it up in the top over here, just dock it in over there. Okay. Uh, let's just dock that over there, sorry, just dock it in the top here. There we go. It's not playing nicely. And then we can dock our we can dock it down over there dock this one over here okay so there we've got our um our docked components over there our docked toolbar and maybe i want to dock this in on the right hand side over here and there we go it fills the space up quite nicely okay my tabs at the top and there i can go new and open okay so just quite easy to to go and just take your components and just start docking it and placing it where you want to uh, with regards you can have floating toolbars um, or dock toolbars at the top over there okay and before we we do finish that if you don't want this over here the, the 2d toolbar you can take that away and just as I said once again just remember to go and save this workspace um, otherwise when you go back it will, in anything that you replace, you know, not going into the CUI will have been replaced by what you've uh, right-clicked over here and selected. So those will all disappear if you're not in the CUI. Just to show you that it does work, go back to your drafting annotation, shows you a new interface, your ribbon at the top, and if I go back to my AutoCAD Classic, you'll see there that it has been customized. Thank you very much for watching.